Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a fun haul. This is a new to me vendor and this is Vintage Road Candles. Now, like I said, this is my first order. Um, here are all my goodies. I've already unwrapped everything, um, but I wanted to share with you. So my friend Farron was talking about this vendor and I've heard about this vendor before, but I haven't actually made a purchase. So I'm really excited to try out all of these goodies. Let's get started. I think there are samples in here. Yes, let's do the samples first. Um, I think there's just two. So the first is apple pie a la mode and this is apple strudel cupcakes at Tiffany's and ice cream scoop bread. If there's a business card in here, I'll show you guys. So this definitely smells like an apple spiced Kind of said almost smells a little bit caramely. I'm not really getting cupcakes at Tiffany's though, but it smells like a really good fall scent. So that's apple pie a la mode. And then this is quite a big chunk. Um, this one's called Country Breakfast apple butter, whipped cream, and buttermilk pancakes. I would love to smell buttermilk pancakes by itself to see what it's like. Mmm, this one's really good. This one's really. Really sweet. Look how big that chunk is, though. Yeah, I get somewhat of like a breakfasty kind of note. Yeah, that smells delicious. So I'm really excited. Okay, let's do these shapes first. These are like the rose type shapes. Um, I feel like she calls them something else. I think I accidentally misplaced my my order sheet in another box. This one's frosted circus sugar cookies and it's frosted sugar cookies and circus snacks. And circus snacks is candy, coconut, vanilla, marshmallow, and tonka. And the pour date on this one is November 10th, 2021. So that's what that looks like. I don't know if my eyes are blurry or if it's blurry on the screen for you guys. I'm apologizing. <laughs> So this one's definitely different. Okay, so this smells pretty buttery to me. I get this like really fruity note in here. I don't know if that's like the candy. I definitely get coconut. Kind of smells a little bit body care. For a second, I thought I was picking up like a buttered popcorn note. This one's really hard to read. It smells good, but I'm not sure is it like edible or is it like more body care? But it does smell really good. So that's Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies. Definitely different than I thought it would be. But still smells really nice. We have Back to the Future. This is Cream Soda 7-Up Pound Cake and Vanilla Lace. Also poured in November 2021. Yeah, this smells really good. This smells really good. Oh, yum. So it definitely has this like fizzy kind of, I don't know, like a lemon lime cake for sure. It's kind of, yeah, it's like cakey. There's like a vanilla note in the background. I don't know about vanilla lace, but it definitely smells really edible. It's yummy. Raid the fridge, caramel mac apples, cornbread, and fried ice cream. I couldn't pass this one up. It has that cornbread note in it. Yeah, this is going to be a really good fall scent, although I, I don't really melt, like, seasonally, like, on purpose. This smells really yummy. Yeah, definitely a really good caramel apple scent. I'm not picking up too much cornbread, but let's see about that guy. Okay. Um, these are, like, her little bunt packs, I will say. Um, some of them do have, like, holes, so it seems like the pores are kind of shallow on here. This is supposed to be 3.3 3 to 3.5 ounces. And this scent is in wild honeysuckle and raspberry. Light floral scent of sweet honeysuckle and tart berries. Yeah, this is fruity. It is definitely a little bit like on the sour side. You can see kind of through the bottom hole there. Yeah, this smells pretty. It's not like crazy, crazy floral. I think the raspberry note is very prominent in here, but I love honeysuckle, so I'm excited to try that one. Okay, had to get this one because I love pumpkin peanut brittle. This one's called Sweet and Salty. I think I almost wish I would have gotten this in a bigger size 
I think they might have been offering chunks or loaves, but the website is closed now. I'm not sure exactly how she does, he or she does the um, restocks. I'll have to look into it and maybe I can leave some information down below in the description. This is candy corn and pumpkin peanut brittle. Did I already show you the label? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's so sweet and thick and salty and decadent and like toffee. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't get enough pumpkin peanut brittle. It has to be one of my favorite scents of all time. It's so good. And this just smells extra sweet, I'm guessing from the candy corn. I don't really detect candy corn, but this is so good. I could definitely see myself getting like a big loaf of this. Okay, and then I got two souffles. The first is in strawberry melon. And this is sweet strawberries, juicy watermelon, and ripe honeydew. This one was actually poured April 2022, so this is a newer fresh pour. Mmm, that's strong. Um, this is a very strong candied watermelon, like very juicy, like dripping down your face type of honeydew. Not really picking up, well, I made a little bit of strawberry, but I'm mostly getting that watermelon candy with the, the really like wet honeydew. Um, that smells delicious. That's going to be a really good summer scent. I'm excited for that one. And then this one's called Getaway and it's cucumber, melon, peony, coconut, salty sea breeze, and vanilla. This one was poured October, 2021. So I'm not sure if some of these were just like older that she was looking to get rid of, or if that's just kind of how our RTSs are, leftovers into the new RTS. Yeah, this is pretty. I get, I get cucumber melon. It's like this really soft, creamy melon scent. I'm picking up a little bit of the coconut and maybe some salty sea breeze. I'm not really getting peony, but um, kind of just like a coastal like melon type of scent. So that one's getaway. That one will be really pretty and refreshing. And then I got one of the chunk bags and forgive me if I'm saying this wrong. I don't know if it's called a chunk bag, but that's what I'm calling it. And this is maple drills, <laughs> maple drizzled donuts, maple pancakes and cinnamon sugar donuts and cinnamon sugar donuts. I'm not sure if every vendor uses the same oil. I'm sure they don't, but that's one of my favorite, favorite oils, like single oils. It's so good. So I have high hopes for this scent and this smells, <laughs> this smells incredible. Yeah. A little bit of like maple. It's like super sweet and delicious. It almost smells like a maple donut. Oh yeah. I am so happy with this one. Maple drizzled donuts. I am really excited to get to melting all this. And then I got one loaf, which was a little bit of a wild card for me. Um, this is jam and toast and it's wild berry scones blackberry jam and whole wheat toast. I've never tried whole wheat toast before um, in wax and wild berry scones. I don't like wild berry mousse. So I was a little bit like skeptical. I'm like, okay, is it going to read wild berry mousse? Cause I don't like that scent. And then blackberry jam is kind of like, a. am still discovering blackberry jam cause I thought I really disliked it. So this was definitely a wild card, especially for a loaf. And I will say this bag is extremely thick. This bag is pretty thin, so I'm not really sure what the difference is, but this one is very thick. It's very nice. Yeah, this is, I don't, I, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> it's definitely really different. It smells kind of sour. It smells not like a, a natural berry scent. So, and it smells a little bit bitter, almost like, kind of like when you smell whole wheat toast, like it's not like very sweet, kind of has this like bitter kind of note. So I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm undecided. I'll melt a little bit of it. I think it's well cured. This was poured in, yeah, November. So I think I'm going to use a little chunk and see if I like it. Who knows? It could be fabulous. Um, but yeah, on cold, I'm not really digging it that much because 
it's mostly that really sour almost what do you call that I always call it kombucha <laughs> um, fermented kind of berry that's kind of what it's reading not like wine more just like fermented um so we'll see but that's jam and toast I know I didn't mean to end it on like a weird note <laughs> But that's what we have. So I think the one I'm most excited for is, okay, this strawberry melon smells really good for summer, but this maple drizzled donuts. Yeah, this is, this is really, really yummy. Super decadent. So that is all that I have from Vintage Road Candles. I know I had a business card. I don't know where it went, um, but I'll try and leave the information down below for you guys um, so you can check her out, her him or her out. Um, I'll see if I can um, link the Instagram and if they have a Facebook group. I'm not sure if I'm, I don't think I'm part of a Facebook group. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are also having a great weekend. We'll talk again soon. All right. Bye.